Hello and welcome to Cooking with our Pacaso Christmas Spectacular. I am your ho ho host, Señor Arpacaso. Today we are celebrating one of my favorite holidays. I remember when I was just a little dreamy eyed alpaca without a trouble in the world, sitting around the tree with my father, sí. <laughs> Señor Arpacaso, and opening presents. Ah. Wow. Oh my god, Papa, I can't believe it. Oh, I my god. Ah, uh, my first chef hat. Chef hat. The first step towards my dream of being oh a celebrity chef. Today, we will be making one of my favorite holiday recipes. Your log. Everything that you will need is below in the description. To start, take your corn flour, flour, baking powder, salt, cocoa powder, and sift them into a bowl. Make sure there are no lumps, or you end up with a big mouthful of powder. You don't want to do that. Next, spray your baking trays with cooking spray. Line them with baking paper. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Pour your eggs into a bowl and whisk until they're nice and fluffy. Add the sugar slowly. Beat until it's thick and pale. Add your dry ingredients and vanilla essence to the mix and fold gently with a spatula. When it is ready, pour it onto your trays and spread it out evenly. Bake it for approximately 10 minutes. While it is in the oven, you can prepare to roll your sponge. Grab a piece of baking paper and sprinkle sugar all over it. Your sponge is ready when it springs back to the touch and isn't wet inside. Don't over bake it or it will be too hard to roll. Flip the sponge upside down onto your fresh baking paper and peel away the old piece. Score a line near the edge of the sponge. Roll it up and leave it to cool. This will make it easier to roll later, as the sponge, like me, remembers to stay in shape. <laughs> now, prepare your filling. We're using Italian meringue buttercream with an extra ingredient, an ancient alpaca tradition, Bailey's. Not for you kids. You can also make chocolate buttercream or ganache for the outside. How exotic! Spread the filling over the sponge with a palette knife. Don't let it get all the way to the edge or it will spill out and you will end up with buttercream all over your alpaca feet. Roll the sponge up and you will have your first log. But don't stop there. Make a smaller roll to add as a branch and attach it to the main log. Now, using a star nozzle, pipe your chocolate buttercream on top and make your log stripy like tree bark. Cut the ends of the log so it's neat and you can see delicious filling. Now, for the most important step, decorating. You can decorate any way you want. Today, I am adding icing sugar snow and putting on small pieces of holly made from fondant. Thank you for watching Cooking with Arpacaso. I am your host, Señor Arpacaso. Enjoy! Now that that is out of the way, we can finally sit down and enjoy the holiday season, the Arpacaso way. Hey kids! Ay caramba! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Back! Oh, oh, oh. oh, 
What is this? <gasps> it's a new Jeff hat! Oh, muchas gracias. Thank you to everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is a, some good babies. <laughs> and then I was all like, oh my god. And then my papa, he came into the house and he was all like, son, I have something to tell you. And I was like, oh, okay, dad. What is it? He said, son, your mom has been shot in a drive-by. And I was like, hey caramba, I can't believe it. Who's gonna cook? And then Papa was like, you're gonna have to learn. That's why I bought you the hat. 